Hi, it's Eldar and in today's video I want to share with you the new website I have built using Blocks for Mac and it is actually the Apple's Mac Mini web page and I tried to recreate this without using any code or any third-party tools, just Blocks for Mac. And obviously I don't own the copyright for the images or content, so if you download this page, this template, Please do not use all of the content and images in your project because I don't own the, any of the rights for that. But if you are Blocks Templates or Blocks Master user, you can download it and see how I build it. And you can replace the text and images and use it for your project. So let's see first the Apple's website and then I will show you what kind of website I was able to create using Blocks. So uh, right from the beginning, you can see that this website has some quite advanced animations and not everything will be possible to recreate in blocks. For example, if we refresh the page, you can see that it kind of come to life from dark to light and it is not possible to do in blocks. Of course, we can kind of uh, set the background video and do the similar effect. But at the end of the day, I think that using the still image will be much better for our project. So, and you can see we have this sliding in feature and we have the bigger sections, this make mini body in the center and text on both sides. And if we scroll down, we have this beautiful flowing air and we have some other similar sections. Next, uh, we have this section and I did not recreate this section because, well, even though I think it's possible using the tapped content breaking blocks, it will take too much time and effort to do that. And the point is, uh, right after this block, we have another block, this uh, tabs, this one. And as you can see, it has the similar tab design. So I've built, uh, I have recreated this one. So. I didn't want to create two different blocks using the same brick. So let's take a look at what kind of website I was able to recreate. And if we go here, you can see that the welcome screen is quite similar. Of course, I don't have the same menu and everything, but I have the same transparent sliding in navigation. All the buttons, all the text is quite similar. And I have this beautiful features, sliding features effect as well as Apple. And I have the Mac Mini body this the text on both sides. So I think it looks great. And I even have this flowing air animation. And I've done that using the parallax effect. So if you want to learn how to do that, I will show that in Mastering Blocks update for February. So stay tuned for that. And then we have more sections with the body and the text on the side. So I think it's quite similar. Of course, we have this back of the Mac Mini section with the ports and we have the similar, completely similar to what Apple has on their website. Let's take a look once again. As you can see, it has the, well, they have this uh, text showing the ports, what kind of ports we have here. I didn't do that, but in theory, I can just take a screenshot of that or just pre-edit the image before putting it in the blocks and I will have the same design. So. But everything else is quite similar, as you can see here on the Apple website, we have this structure and pretty much similar structure here. And right here I have the tapped content. And as you can see that, well, everything, including the fade-in effects, is quite similar. And tabs, design and everything is quite similar. The only difference is I put the tabs on top because by default in blocks, free, the tabs are on top and even though I can put the custom class there and move them down, I thought that it's not really that different and even Apple could just do something like that and it will be totally fine. So this is that and then we have a couple of simple bricks. It's quite nice to be able to create a website like this without knowing any code and well, it's maybe 90% similar to what Apple done with their website. And another beautiful thing is Blogs doing great, pretty great job optimizing this website for mobile devices. And of course I did spend more time to perfecting all of the margins, all of the text sizes 
and all of the well content placement but as you can see like for example on ipad mini device size it looks perfect and as you can see that well we have beautiful fully customized layout here and for mobile for iphone as well you can see that we have the beautiful drop down menu and we have the perfectly located perfectly placed elements all over the place so if you are blocks templates or blocks master user you can download this template this project files for free so if you want to use it in your project please replace the images and content because i don't own them use the structures and just learn how it's done in blocks and if you have any questions about about this website or blocks in general please let me know and i will do my best to help you so thank you for watching this video i will talk to you in the next video probably next week so take care